Welcome, voyagers of the cosmos and the curious minds of Earth to Reality Rip. I am your guide on this journey, and today we tread upon the delicate boundary where science and wonder merge, a frontier as mysterious as the universe and as intimate as your own senses. Imagine for a moment the aroma of fresh roses or the scent of a salty ocean breeze. What if I told you that the secret behind these scents could lie in the esoteric realm of quantum physics? We've ventured far into the mysteries of black holes and the early universe, but today we venture inward, deep within the cells of your very nose. Electrons may be engaging in quantum dances, tunneling between states, facilitated by the vibrations of molecules that float in the air. Is our perception of smell a key to unlock quantum consciousness, or a scientific riddle yet unsolved? Today, we'll dive deep into the theory of quantum vibrations in smell an odyssey that changes the very fabric of biology and physics. Prepare to question, ponder, and above all, to wonder. Let us set sail on this cosmic sea and rip apart the very fabric of what you thought was reality. And if you would like to take this moment to leave a like, share this video with your friends, and comment below bragging about it, Hit that notification bell as hard as you can for more top-notch daily reality rip content. That would be awesome. Imagine for a moment that you are in a lush garden. The scent of blooming flowers, fresh earth, and green leaves envelops you. This sensory experience, my friends, is more mysterious than you might think. For the story of how we perceive these smells, leads us on a curious path into the frontier of quantum physics. Welcome again to Reality Rip, where today we navigate the corridors of a world that is as intimate as your nostrils and as expansive as the universe itself. Now, before we pierce the veil of the quantum realm, let us look back at the history of olfactory science. The conventional wisdom, the story we told ourselves for years, is the lock and key model. According to this view, molecules have shapes, and these shapes fit into the corresponding locks of olfactory receptors in your nose. When the right key fits the right lock, a signal races to your brain, manifesting as the sweet scent of a rose or the tangy odor of citrus. But what if I told you that this lock and key model, as comfortable and as intuitive as it might seem, could be an oversimplification, a mere approximation of a reality more entangled and vibrating at frequencies we are only beginning to comprehend. Enter Luca Turin, a biophysicist who in the 1990s proposed a theory that was as provocative as it was beautiful. He suggested that our olfactory receptors are not just passive locks waiting for the right keys, but are more like finely tuned musical instruments resonating with the quantum vibrations of molecules. You see, the theory hinges on a quantum phenomenon called electron tunneling. This is where electrons defying classical physics tunnel through energy barriers, much like a ghost walking through a wall. Now, if the vibrational frequency of an incoming molecule harmonizes with the receptor, the electron tunneling event occurs more efficiently. This creates a unique olfactory signal that the brain deciphers as a special scent. At the heart of Turin's theory is a stunning implication 
molecules with similar shapes can smell different if their vibrational frequencies diverge. The lock and key model finds it hard to explain this phenomenon, but quantum vibrations offer a beautiful and poetic solution. Yet, this notion isn't without its skeptics. The corridors of scientific inquiry are filled with the echoes of debates and counter-arguments. While some experiments, especially those involving isotopes, seem to support Turin's hypothesis, others have muddled the waters. In the grand tradition of science rigor, the theory remains a subject of hot debate and rigorous investigation. The field of olfactory research stands at a tantalizing crossroads, the way ahead obscured by the mist of uncertainty, but glowing with the promise of revelation. So as we embark on this exploration, be prepared to encounter Higgs bosons and isotopes, the whispers of electrons and the chasms of scientific disagreements. For the world of all faction may be a doorway, a doorway that leads to the broader understanding of quantum biology and perhaps even consciousness itself. Buckle your seatbelts, dear voyagers. The journey we are about to take is fragrant with possibilities and vibrant with the hues of quantum strangeness. Let's rip apart the reality of what we think we know and venture into the pulsating heart of quantum vibrations in smell. As we stand at the precipice of scientific understanding, the quantum theory of alphication urges us to take a leap into the mystifying chasm of quantum biology. Here, in the complex symphony of cellular processes, quantum mechanics might not just be a fleeting note, but a persistent melody that has long remained elusive to our scientific ears. A journey into quantum biology would be incomplete without a nod to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and the concept of superposition. In the quantum realm, Particles exist in deterministic states, but in probabilistic ones. Could it be that the smell signaling pathway is also governed by such probabilistic states making the aroma of freshly baked bread or a blooming rose not just a molecular event but a quantum interlude? The uncertainty principle suggests that one cannot simultaneously measure two complementary variables, like position and momentum, with infinite accuracy. In a similar vein, could our olfactory receptors be engaged in a delicate dance of uncertainty? Perhaps the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics allows for a far richer tapestry of smells than classical physics would permit. Imagine a universe of smells not just defined by molecular locks and keys, but by wave functions that encompass an array of possibilities. The concept of quantum entanglement can send shivers down the spine of classical physicists. Two entangled particles, no matter the distance that separates them, seem to communicate instantaneously. It's a baffling idea that Einstein famously described as spooky action at a distance. In the context of olfaction, could there be a form of entanglement between the olfactory receptors and odorant molecules? Although experimental evidence is lacking, the possibility is tantalizing. And why is there such a lack of experiments? Huh? What the hell? If this channel gets more successful, I will start doing experiments! Dang it! Why not? I really am learning all of this along with you. So I will get to the bottom of all these mysteries. One way or another. We can do this together if you join me for more daily reality rip content. Just leave a like, subscribe to our channel, share this video with your friends, and leave a comment below. Ask me any questions you would like, and then hit that notification bell as hard as you can, alright? That'd be great. Anyway, 
let's continue with the script. Additionally, quantum coherence, where particles are correlated with each other, might be involved in making our ascent of smell as acute as it is. Just like how quantum coherence in photosynthesis allows plants to absorb light energy with extraordinary efficiency, a similar mechanism could be at play within our olfactory systems. One of the significant challenges of integrating quantum mechanics into biological systems is the issue of decoherence, where quantum states interact with the environment and essentially become classical in the hustle and bustle of a biological cell, maintaining a coherent quantum state is like trying to hear a whisper in a hurricane. However, some researchers propose that biological systems have evolved ways to shield these quantum states, allowing for biological quantum phenomena to exist. To make this narrative truly cosmic, let's invoke the Higgs boson, the elusive god particle responsible for giving other particles mass. Could this cornerstone of particle physics play a role in the molecular theater of smell? It's a speculative stretch, but the Higgs field permeating all of space affects particles as they move through it. If an odorant molecule possesses a special vibrational frequency that interacts uniquely with the Higgs field, it could theoretically influence the particle masses within our olfactory receptors in some way yet to be understood. As Carl Sagan once eloquently said, we are a way for the universe to know itself. Perhaps our quest to understand the sense of smell at a quantum level will not only revolutionize various scientific fields, but also offer an unprecedented introspection into the universe and our place within it. It may sound like an odyssey of astronomical proportions, for indeed it is, but it's precisely in this fusion of the micro and the macro, the mundane and the mystifying, that we find the elegance of truth. As quantum biology matures, perhaps the enigmas of today will become the enlightenment of tomorrow, weaving the tapestry of life with threads spun from both the biological and the quantum. We are but wayfarers in this cosmic journey, and perhaps our sense of smell is one of the most mysterious guides leading us toward a deeper understanding of this astonishing universe. That about wraps up today's video. I really am learning this content along with you, so this channel has been benefiting me as well as hopefully you entertaining anyone watching. Thank you for the support. My channel has gotten some new subscribers lately and things are getting kind of exciting. Thank you all. I really did start this channel just so I could use uh, ChatGPT to learn about quantum physics and I decided why not make YouTube content out of it. It's been entertaining for me to do and I hope it's been entertaining for you as well. So if you have any curiosities just ask in comments below and I may address them in future episodes if they are interesting enough. Sometimes I don't find quite enough information to make an informative video on certain topics but I will do what I can. And for now, I've been more focused on the introduction of these kind of topics. I plan on diving deeper into the material later on. Anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll see you tomorrow with uh, new content.